So in order to study the effects of these local uninsurable risks to house prices and income, I turn to a more theoretical model. Uh, this, is a, this model is a unique blend of horizontal sorting models that are popular in urban economics with continuous time asset pricing models popular in finance. So what these horizontal sorting models do is they study the uh, location decisions of heterogeneous agents across space. Uh, agents here uh, choose to locate in, within a system of cities based on the income that they receive in each particular city and the amenities that they uh, get from living there. What's different in this model is that people also care about risk. People uh, may care about the volatility in income and house price risk for the cities they choose. So people that are really risk averse in equilibrium will not want to locate in, in cities with high volatility of housing prices and wages. Um, people in this model can also invest in financial assets. One interesting reason why they do so is for hedging purposes. So they want to use these financial assets to insure themselves against these housing uh, price and wage risk. For example, in, uh, uh, worker in Detroit that's overexposed to housing, uh, to, to the auto industry risk, wants to short the, the stocks of the auto industry in order to insure himself against uh, possible unemployment and, and loss in housing wealth. Using these analytical uh, properties of continuous time processes, I can actually solve for a close form equilibrium in asset prices and housing prices, and also in uh, uh, the sorting equilibrium of people across space. What's nice about these solutions, these explicit solutions, is that they show a clean characterization of how uh, non-insurable risk affects individual choice, and through individual choice it affects housing prices and asset prices. So I take this uh, structural model and estimate it using price, housing price data and wage data for 216 metropolitan areas. Uh, among other things that I estimate is the city-specific housing risk, risk premia. There is a lot of heterogeneity across the U.S. of these estimated housing risk premia. I'll give an example. For example, uh, San Francisco, the, the, the implied risk premia there, risk premium there means that housing prices there will be $130,000 cheaper than what they would be if people were risk neutral. So people who are risk averse need to be compensated for the high volatility of San Francisco to live there. And the amount of money they have to be compensated by is $130,000. I also use this model to study the effects of financial innovation through a series of counterfactual simulations. Particularly what I have in mind here is the creation of new financial instruments that allow individuals to insure themselves against housing uh, price risk and income risk.